Hi, David Allman here for Overloud.com, and today I want to show you how you can create a hard rock 80s tone in TH3. we're going to start from scratch in DH3 and we're going to build a brand new preset based on John Norum's rig from the band Europe. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a dual rig setup in TH3, which means that your guitar is going to be going through two different amps. That's a secret to great guitar tone. It's done a lot. So to do that in TH3, we're just going to click this button on the bottom left and that'll create a dual setup rig. Once that's done, we're going to add a wah at the very front of the chain. That's an essential part of John Norum's rig. We're going to find the wah in the wah category of all the presets, and for this we'll use a classic wah, the cry maybe wah. Right after the wah we're going to go into a stereo chorus pedal, and for this we'll use this uh, classic model of a Japanese maker, chorus number two. That's the one we'll use, and we're going to set all the knobs at about two-thirds. <laughs> Make sure you set the course pedal to stereo because this pedal is going to go into two different amps. We're going to pick two models that are based on the JCM 800 amp and the JCM 900 amp. The JCM 800 amp model is called the Rock 75, so we're going to drag the Rock 75 amp onto one side of the chain. On the other side, we're going to go into the Rock 900 and make sure you select channel B because that's going to be the distortion channel of the amp and that's the one we want for that 80s hard rock sound. <laughs> In order to get a proper hard rock sound, we're going to have to raise the mids a little bit. That's going to help your guitar cut through the mix. So on both of the amp heads, I'm going to slightly increase the mids. We're also going to increase the drive a little bit to get that thick, rich distortion. And finally, we'll adjust the presence just a little bit, tweak it a little bit. That's going to depend on your guitar. So experiment a little bit until you get a bright tone that is full of character while still remaining fully overdriven. Before we add a guitar cabinet, we're going to add in front of these amps a tube screamer. This is found in the overdrive section. I'm going to drag and drop the Tube 9 model right in front of these amps. It's going to give us more gain and more drive. So you're probably thinking that next we need to add a cab. Not quite yet. We're going to add a digital delay. We're going to add that delay to the Rock 75 amp right after that head between the head and the cab. That's what John uses in his rig, and uh, we're going to do that too. So let's add a digital delay. We're going to set the repetition and the level of the effect to about one quarter. Also, because we're using this digital delay as a mono delay, we're not going through both amps, just one amp, we're going to turn the stereo effect all the way down. <laughs> The time knob is going to depend on the song you're playing. Notice that you can tap the delay if you want to match the tempo to the song you're playing with. Okay, so we've got most of our setup now. Both of these heads are going to go into the same cab. That means that we need to blend both of these heads together. And we're going to do that thanks to the mixer. I'm going to make sure that it's right at the center so both heads are going to be blended together going through the cab. John uses a 4x12 Marshall cab. The closest cabinet that we can find in TH3 is the 4x12 Vintage UK cab. So I'm just going to drag and drop that cab right after the mixer. Notice on the cab that uh, you have some microphones. If I double click on one of these microphones, I can select the mic model that I want to use. And in this case, we're going to use an American 57, which is modeled after the classic SM57 microphone. If you want to shape your tone even further, you can add a second mic by double-clicking on this particular mic. 
at the microphone of your choice. And if you double click on the cap, that's where you can set all the levels for your microphone. Make sure you set the second mic a little bit lower than the first one and play a little bit with the settings and see what works for you. We're not very close to John Norm's sound. If we want to add a little bit more depth to the sound, I can add a plate reverb right before the cab. So I'm gonna go into my different reverbs. I'm gonna select the plate reverb and I'm gonna drag and drop that module right before the cabinet. mind that every guitar is different. That means that you might need to adjust a little bit the settings. The settings in this video are just meant to be a guideline, but depending on the pickups you're using, depending on the way you attack every string, it's gonna change a little bit. So make sure to experiment, use this as a guideline, and tweak your sound according to your guitar. I hope this video helped you create the 80s hard rock tone that you need for your songs. Remember that everything in Overloud TH3 can be tweaked. You can change amp models. There's tons of different effects. All that to help you customize the tone of your dreams. Have fun with this, and I'll see you next time.